Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this video, I want to show you how we can integrate the brand new RSS module into a workflow. We'll build a sample website that has an RSS feed linked to it. Let's get started. Getting started, we'll go over to the Wayscript platform and create a new script. I'll click on mine and call it RSS feed website and click create. In this example, let's build a website that incorporates an RSS feed directly into it. To do this, we need a website, and we need to be able to access RSS module information. The first step is to create an HTTP trigger, that way we get an endpoint that a user can go to. We'll click on Add Trigger, and select the HTTP trigger. This gives us a URL that a user can go to to access this information. We'll leave it off for now because we don't have anything that we're passing to this, but we'll come back and turn that on at the very end of our script. Next, let's pull information from an RSS feed. We'll click on the RSS feed module and drop it into our workflow. We have some setup that we need to do. We need to pass in a URL of an RSS feed that we want to use. I already have an RSS feed that we'll use for this example from MarketWatch. So we'll copy that URL and paste it here. Once we paste it, we see that we now have a variable created here that has that information from that RSS feed displayed for us. We can use this data directly in an HTML file and pass that to our user. So let's build that HTML file now. To do this, we'll go up and drag the HTML module into our workflow. We'll click on it and then click on edit code. I already have some sample bootstrap code that I've written for this tutorial. And if you want to use this as well, then I'll post the link for this in the description. It's not the prettiest, but it'll show you how to incorporate RSS into a website. We'll copy that and paste it here. This HTML code just has a few jumbotrons that will fill in the information from the RSS feed with. We'll open up the RSS feed variable and expand it. And what we want are the entries of this feed. We'll scroll through and find our entries. We want the title, and then let's pull in the link for the information as well. So for each jumbotron, I'll pull in the title directly into the HTML code. For the link, we'll pull in the link of href and drop it down into our href of our button. Now we'll do the same thing for the rest of the jumbotrons on this page. Once you have that, we'll save and close our file. At this point, we're getting information from an RSS feed and then passing it to HTML code. Now what we need to do is to return this HTML code whenever someone goes to our URL. To do this, we need an HTTP response. We'll drag in the HTTP response into the bottom of our workflow. And then the variable that we want to pass is that HTML code as the response content. Now we just need to activate that URL. And we do that by turning on this trigger. Finally, let's go check out our URL that has the information from that RSS feed. And like I said, this website isn't the prettiest, but I hope it shows you how we can integrate RSS feeds into a website using Wayscript. And that's it for this one. If you have any questions, as always, please let us know. If you have any suggestions for what we should build next, please let us know that too. Until next time.